Smart Sitemap XML Tools is a plugin uh, to generate uh, uh, sitemap files that search engines use for uh, improve, to improve indexing of your website. Uh, when you open the plugin for the first time, you will see the status of the plugin and uh, you will see if a uh, plugin can be used or if you need to make some changes. A uh, plugin doesn't create physical files on disk, it serves a virtual uh, file. And first check is to see if you have a physical sitemap file in your uh, website root directory. You don't, so the plugin can be used. But plugin requires use of permalinks in WordPress, so you need to enable that first. Uh, simply select any uh, version for permalinks and when you open the plugin again you will see that everything is okay and you can use uh, sitemap and you see the URL to the sitemap here. Before we see the sitemap and how it works let's see uh, some of the plugin settings. You can limit number of URLs in a single file to uh, some value uh, by default it's 2000 since you can have 50,000 uh, files with 2000 links that's plenty for any even the very very huge websites uh, this value shouldn't be too big or it will be affecting your website performance um, plugin uses cache but uh, there is no need to to use so a large number of links per single sitemap file. Uh, Google allows for 50,000 files but in my opinion 2,000 is plenty. Uh, base file name you should uh, set one value and stick to it, don't change it again because it will invalidate all the sitemaps uh, you might create. So usually it's only sitemap. You can uh, use any other thing you want. Uh, you can enable notifications for uh, Google and Bing. That's the only two uh, search engines that really matter and allow you to send uh, sitemaps. And you can include images. For all posts uh, that are added to the sitemap you can add images that are attached to those posts and you can limit number of images you want to use. You can also automatically add sitemap entry into robots.txt file and you can include the transformation file that will be used if you do a look at the sitemap in your browser. Finally, cache is enabled by default and it is highly rec recommended that it stays enabled. Do not disable this option or you may, uh, may face some performance issues, especially if you choose a large number of links per uh, sitemap. So, cache should be left enabled. Uh, next thing to check is the content. Here you can set uh, what the sitemap will contain. First you have core sitemaps, that's uh, basic home link and extra links. Extra links are set through this extra links tab here. Next you have all the post types found. Uh, posts and pages are enabled by default, media is disabled. And you can set how the priority will be added and frequency for changing. Some uh, types of maps have uh, uh, these calculation methods for priorities that will be best uh, to use or you can use static priority from the list here. Next we have uh, uh, taxonomies, so for instance we have categories, tags, format is not needed, you can disable it and uh, again priority and frequency can be set here. Finally we have date based archives, a year, month and daily archives are enabled, weekly is not, you can enable it if you want and we have user based archives here. So once you are satisfied with everything, save it. Adding extra links is easy. Uh, enter the full URL, enter modification date in one of these 
uh, formats, set priority and frequency, and you can add as many leaks as you want. We will not do that now. Um, you can click here and the sitemap will load. Uh, this is the full map uh, uh, that you will see in browser only. Uh, map is an XML file and it actually looks a bit different. If you open the source, you will see that you have plain uh, XML file, but since we are loading sitemap XSL and that transformation file, it transforms file to look like this in browsers only. Uh, search engines ignore this and only use the sitemap as it is. Uh, so you here, here you can see uh, all the sitemaps in the sitemap index and you can see individual maps uh, like this and as you can see you have all the information needed. Uh, also uh, you have for instance category sitemap all the categories also notice the different priorities uh, for priority we have chosen uh, most posts so the uh, categories with most posts will be uh, with higher priority and uh, that uh, also goes for all other maps depending on the method for calculating priority. Uh, year archives, posts, Uh, if you open this sitemap to see the source, you will see these parts. That these are images that uh, uh, Google will use to index the images for your sitemap. Uh, you cannot see the images in this view, but they are included. Uh, sitemaps will be regenerated automatically every time you publish a new post and in that case you will see uh, last map index build date and also you will see notifications, notification dates for both Google and Bing. If you don't want to wait, uh, you can always force sitemap rebuilding uh, using this and uh, only in this case uh, both Google and Bing will be notified. Every time you uh, make changes to settings, contents or links uh, every time the cache for all the maps will be cleared so that the latest changes based on your uh, modifications will be included in the sitemap but anytime you can click for sitemap rebuild and uh, that will trigger map rebuild uh, usually takes uh, some time and uh, as you can see the message is here that the process is already scheduled. Uh, there are a few other things you should see and that is overriding uh, posts, terms and uh, users. If you open a post you will see information, additional meta box here where you can exclude the post from the sitemap or you can change its priority and frequency and this value will take precedence over calculated values and values set for individual post types. So exclusion from sitemap and changing priority and uh, frequency. Similar thing can be done with taxonomies so we'll open category and if you edit one of the categories you will see again similar thing but this time we have another option and that is to exclude posts for this term. So if uh, this term is used by 10 posts, all those 10 posts will be excluded in, uh, from the sitemap if you enable this option here. Uh, similar thing for user. If you edit user profile, you will see the same thing down there and also you can exclude all 
uh, post by the by every user every author if you enable this option here again you can change priority and frequency for individual users okay as we can see now sitemap rebuild that we uh, activated here is completed and uh, you can see the date for uh, last map build and also notifications for Google and Bing. So, as you can see, working with sitemaps this way is very easy. Uh, the whole process is very fast because we are using cache and very optimized uh, uh, queries to get the data we need so, and best of all it will it doesn't require saving maps actually into your website directories and that will help you if you run a website that uses WordPress multi-site in that case every uh, a website can have all own sitemaps without conflicts with other websites in the same network. Additionally, you have options to export and import settings, and you have options to reset everything. Be careful with this operation is not reversible, and you can individually remove settings, and you can remove rules for post terms and users you have seen before uh, for individual elements or objects.